good day today we can discuss the topic replacement model third okay because in previous video we discussed about how can we solve the replacement problem with model 1 and model 2 so this presentation is concentrated about how can we solve a replacement model with the model 3 concepts then replacement model 3 deals with the if the items are failed suddenly and completely we can solve the problem through replacement model 3 so which has two types those are individual replacement policy and group replacement policy in that what is mean by individual replacement policy yes an item is replaced immediately after its failure means individual replacement policy and then what is group replacement policy the item replacing in groups there are certain items which do not deteriorate or worsen but fail completely after certain amount of use which is known as group replacement policy the best example for these replacement policies are electronic bulbs and electronic chips so for understanding how can we solve the replacement model with the model 3 the example problem i considered as like determine the cost per period of individual replacement policy of an installation of 250 bulbs so that the initial investment of bulbs are 250 numbers if the cost of replacing individual bulb is rupees 2.75 from this 250 bulbs if i want to replace one bulb means i can spend rupees 2.75 and the problem has the data about the number of failure is given by like uh, the year first year second year third year fourth year the probability of failure for first year is 0.2 the second year is 0.3 and the third year is 0.4 and the fourth year is 0.1 which may be a year or week or a day the data or maybe vary with respect to your consideration and then determine the optimum group of replacement period if the group replacement cost is rupees 0.93 per bulb let's see how can we solve the problem with the individual replacement policy the individual replacement policy needs the following formulas those are consider this policy the items are replaced immediately after its failure means first step step we should identify expected life of item which means summation of i is equal to 1 to n with i into pi here i is number of years pi for a probability of failure during the average number of failures so that we should determine what is pi value so the pi is the probability of failure during the average number of failures we can estimate the pi value from the formula of uh, total number of items divided by expected life of items from this we can identify cost of individual replacement so the cost of average individual replacement can be identified through average number of failure into cost per item so how can we solve this problem let's see with the example the individual replacement policy has the data like the first year has the probability of failure 0.2 the second year has the probability of failure as 0.3 and the third year as 0.4 and the fourth year as 0.1 so the probability value can be write, written as p1 is equal to 0.2 p2 is equal to 0.3 p3 is equal to 0.4 and p4 is equal to 0.1 from this we can estimate the expected life of item from the above set formulas those are summation of i is equal to 1 to n in i into pi from this i substitute values here i have four years data so that uh, i can follow the four year data with respect to the expected life of item formula so 1 into p1 
the first year uh, probability value which is called as P1 plus 2 into P2, P2 is the second year probability value that is available with our table. We can multiply both the things, we can get the answer and the for third year I can add the, I mean I can multiply both the things. From this we can identify the expected life of item. So I can frame the formula as like 1 into P1 plus 2 into P2 plus 3 into P3 plus 4 into P4. Now I can substitute what are all the probability values that are available with P1, P2, P3 and P4. So from this substitution I can get the expected life of items equal to 2.4 and then I should identify the value of N0 which means total number of uh, testing items. How many items available according to our problem the total number of items uh, is 250 so the installation of uh, 250 bulbs likewise the problem has the data so that the total number of testing items which are available our problem is 250 bulbs from this I can identify average number of failures from the above set formula which means total number of items divided by expected life of items so the total number of items is given by our problem which is 250 bulbs and divided by expected life of items which can be identified through above set, set formula which is summation of i is equal to 1 in i into pi okay from this i can get uh, 250 divided by 2.4 from this we can get the average number of uh, failures as 104.166 so from this i can identify the cost of individual replacement the cost of individual replacement can be identified with the average number of failure into cost per item so average number of item i mean average number of failure i can identify through above set formula from set formula i can identify as like 104.166 i from this i can multiply the cost per item in problem the data is available the cost of replacing individual bulb is rupees 2.75 so I can multiply this average number of failure into cost per item from this we can get rupees 286.48 as cost of individual replacement. So we can identify the individual replacement cost from the individual replacement policy likewise okay, after that. How can we follow the group replacement policy if the product is failed suddenly from the group of uh, items means we consider the group replacement policy. So consider this policy we take the decision as when all the items are replaced irrespective of the fact that items failed or have not failed with a precision that day item fails before the optimum time it may be individually replaced let we can see group replacement policy what are the formula it utilized here i assume capital n0 is equal to no total number of testing items according to our problem total number of testing item is 250 bulbs ni is equal to number of replacement made at the end of eighth year so how many numbers I do replace every end of year from NA I can calculate so NA may be varied every year because NA can be called as N1, N2, N3 if the problem has 10 week or 10 year data means I have to find up to N10 so according to this problem there are 4 year data is available for the reason I can identify only N4 what is the formula for identify the first year end of first year replacement number of replacement uh, from n1 is equal to n0 n0 is the total number of uh, testing items into p1 p1 means uh, probability of first year value according to the second year replacement n2 is equal to n0 into p2 the probability of uh, second year with into the number of uh, replacement made at the uh, end of uh, 
I mean total number of testing items plus N1 into P1 which means number of replacement made at the end of first year into probability of uh, first year. So I can collect the data from the problem and I substitute from this I can get the number of replacement made at the end of second year. Likewise I can identify third year also from the formula of N3 is equal to N0 into P3 plus N1 into P2 plus N2 into P3. If suppose I consider N4 means how do I solve yes N0 into P4 plus N1 into P3 plus N2 into P2 plus N3 into P1. Likewise I can use the formula for identification of N4. Here where P what is P yes probability of failure here P1 I substituted or used P1. P1 means probability of failure at the end of first year. If here what is P2? The probability of failure at the end of second year. So I can select, identify the P1, P2, P3 values from the problem. The problem has the data about probability of failure P1, P2, P3 and P4. From these I can pick, pick the values of N1, N2, 3. After that how can I solve the group replacement? First I consider N0, total installment of bulbs which is 250 bulbs as a N0 and then N1, how can I identify N1 is equal to total installment of bulbs into probability of first year. According to our problem, the problem has to uh, probability of first year is 0.2 so that uh, I can substitute uh, 0.2 as a P1 values. From this I can get 250 into 0.2 is equal to 50. Likewise I can identify the N1 value. After that N2. N0 is equal to 250 bulbs. And what is P2? P2 our problem has uh, the data like 0.3. So that I can substitute 0.3 here. So 250 into 0.3 plus 50. N1 is a 50. From so N2 I can identify the 50 value just 50 into the probability of 1 is equal to 0 0.2. Likewise I can identify is equal to 85. After that N3 how can I identify N3? Yes N0 from initial which is 250 bulbs into P3 I can pick from the problem which is 0.4 so that I can substitute here 0.4 plus N1 value I identified in previous step which is 50, 50 into P2 is 0.3 from problem P2 is equal to 0.3 so that I can pick that 0.3 value for substituting here after that plus 50 as the N1 value is selected here so likewise I can substitute N values and the P values with respect to formulas. From this I can identify N0 is equal to 250, N1 is equal to 50, N2 is equal to 85, N3 is equal to 132 and N4 is equal to 97. Likewise I can identify the number of replacement made at the end of every year. After that I formulate the tabular columns like year, total cost of group replacement and average cost table. In that year according to this problem I have 4 years data so that I generate the column as so like with the 4 year data. So 1, 2, 3, 4. After that how can I identify the total cost of group replacement from this available number of uh, number of replacement data. Yes. Here you see the formula is N0 into CG. CG means group replacement cost plus N1 into CA. CA means individual cost. Okay. Here group cost in problem they are given. Okay. In problem the group replacement cost is 0.93 per bulb and in cost of replacing individual bulb is rupees 2.75. So the problem has the data of group replacement as 0.93 per bulb and the individual cost is 2 rupees 2.75 per bulb. So I can substitute those values from the identified formula which is N0 CG plus N1 CA for first year. Here I substitute 
n0 for 250 cg for 0.93 plus n1 as 50 from the formula after that ca is equal to 2.75 from this i can get 370 and then average cost i can identify from the formula of total cost divided by week okay which is uh, 370 i identified from sorry let's see here i substituted here as like 250 here the 50 only came okay so 250 into 0.93 plus 50 into 2.75 from this i can get 370 i can substitute this total cost here 370 divided by first week 1 is equal to 370 i can get after that uh, i move for second year again i calculate n0 into cg cg is equal to 0.93 okay now n n0 is uh, 250 bulbs so that 250 into 0.93 plus n1 is equal to 50 and n2 is equal to 85 50 plus 85 into 2.75 which is uh, the individual cost from the problem i can pick 2.75 Equal to I can get six not three point seven five from this six not three point seven five of total cost of group replacement I can calculate average cost. Average cost can be identified from total cost divided by week. Here six not three point seven five divided by two from this I can get three not one point eight eight. Likewise I can get the average cost. Similarly I can move for third year and fourth year. from those years i can get the average cost values according to the formula which is total cost divided by week here you see for third year n0 cg plus n1 plus n2 plus n3 into ci likewise i utilize the formula for fourth year n0 cg plus n1 plus n2 plus n3 plus n4 into individual cost likewise i can frame the formula and i identify the total cost of group replacement from this suggested formula and from this identified total cost of group replacement value i can identify the average cost from total cost divided by week formula from this i can get every year average cost which is for first year 370 for second year 301.88 for third year 322.12 and fourth year 308.38 now i compare all the four years data with each other the minimum average cost is available with the end of second year so that the group replacement the optimum group replacement can be occurred with the end of second year so because the value is 301.88 so the end of second year we can replace as group so the second year is the best time to replace the items thank you all if you are having any doubts you may ask me through comment box thank you all